Hello everyone, this is my introduction to VC. Uh, I start off by saying two things. Uh, first one is that this is the very first time that I'm making a video and I have absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever. My method of working is uh, click everything and see if anything happens. Uh, second thing is, since this is vinyl community, I thought I'd start off by saying that uh, I don't prefer LPs to CDs, nor do I prefer CDs to LPs. Um, the reason why I don't uh, think that LPs sound better than CDs is uh, because the worst sounding records that I've ever had were LPs and also the worst sounding records that I have now are LPs. And also the worst sounding CD that I've ever had was a direct transfer from um, LP to CD, so it included all the scratches and uh, surface noise and the crackles, so it sounded awful as you might expect. Uh, I divide my record collection into four different sections. Uh, first one is Elvis Presley. I've loved his music ever since I was a child. Um, I see him uh, being very much uh, apart from everybody else. Uh, on an emotional level he is so important to me that I can't really compare his uh, music to anybody else's. Um, Second thing is rock music from 50s to 90s. Um, what I consider to be a part of rock music is a fairly wide concept. Uh, to me, Carole King is just as much rock music as Megadeth is. Uh, I see uh, stuff like uh, soul music and uh, country music and folk music and uh, heavy metal and psychedelia, uh, I see them all being part of rock music. Uh, I have uh, records uh, all the way up until uh, last year. I don't have any records from this year yet, uh, but uh, my main interest in rock music lies from 50s to 90s. Uh, third section is uh, Finnish music. Uh, there are two reasons why I see Finnish music being separate from all the rest. Uh, first one is that I started listening, listening to Finnish music so much later than uh, rock music. Uh, I had been listening to rock music for about seven years before I bought my first uh, Finnish record. Uh, second reason, uh, obviously, is the language. When it's been uh, sung in Finnish, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's apart from everybody else. Uh, and on occasion, when it's been uh, sung in English, uh, <laughs> Our pronunciation is uh, more in a neighborhood than the actual thing. Uh, that's why we make fun of ourselves and say that we don't speak English, we speak London. Uh, the fourth section uh, is jazz, crooners, world music and f Finnish 50s Iskelma, uh, Iskelma being a schlager in English or German. Uh, I want to stress out that it's a strictly 50s iskelme. Uh, but of course there is always an exception to the rule, and with me that one is Karola. Uh, Karola recorded mainly during the 60s and 70s, uh, so that obviously sets her, sets her apart from a uh, 50s artist, and uh, her style was also quite different to other artists from 60s. Uh, she also recorded jazz and uh, Jewish music and uh, on occasion sang in different languages like uh, French, English and uh, Yiddish. Uh, so she's uh, uh, an exception, uh, exception to the rule. Uh, I have always also tried to get into the classical music but I really haven't made much of a progress uh, in that field at all. Uh, but I hope that in time I will learn to appreciate it more. Uh, uh, as for my next video, I was thinking that I would make a reply to the uh, 70s thread. Uh, rem remember the 70s thread. Uh, uh, but uh, first I would uh, need to know how to download this one into the YouTube. So if you, <laughs> if any of you will see this, I have managed to find out how to do that. So thanks and bye for now.